You got a big call, right? We've spoken about this before. You were initially told to buy 30 million AstraZeneca jabs. You decided to go for 100 million. I read in one newspaper today, The Guardian, this is because you're a fan of the movie Contagion, and that informed you as to how the ne- you have to move quickly on a global scale when a vi- I can see you smiling, Secretary of State. Is it true that, of course, you use your scientific advisors, medical advisors, emotional health advisors, but occasionally you settle down to contagion as well? Mr Hancock. I wouldn't say that that film was my primary source of advice on this, but what I can tell you is that I knew that when the vaccine came good, and I, was, I always had faith that it would, that the demand for it would be huge and we would need to be ready to vaccinate every adult in the country and I wasn't going to settle for less in the same way that I wasn't going to settle for a contract that uh, allowed the uh, you know this the Oxford vaccine to be uh, delivered to others around the world before us I was insisting that we could keep the British public and all of the British public safe as my primary responsibility as the UK Health Secretary is to the health of the nation. So so, so what did Contagion teach? What did Contagion teach you, apparently, the the scramble to get it on 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 an international scale? Well, in in the film, it shows that the moment of highest stress around the vaccine programme is not, in fact, before it's rolled out, when actually it's the scientists and the and the manufacturers uh, working together at pace, it's afterwards when there is a huge row about the order of priority. So not only did we in this country, uh, uh, I, I insisted that we ordered enough for everybody to have, every adult to have their two doses, but also we asked for that clinical advice on the prioritization very early and set it out in public actually i think for the first time we set it out in august or september so that there was no um big row about the order of priority but instead we asked the clinicians and we do it on the basis of how we save most lives most quickly 